Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let Us Play series for Dishonored. I am Rasa-san, and when we last left off, we had just completed our first mission for the Loyalists, which was to assassinate High Overseer Campbell, which I carried out by basically giving him his own poison that he had ordered for the express purposes of poisoning an incorruptible captain of the guard, whom uh, his niece also asked me to save. So we did both of that. We also acquired uh, quite a few runes last time, which is nice because they'll help us upgrade our help us upgrade our character. As you can see, Blink and Dark Vision are now fully upgraded, which is good. I can teleport uh, quite far now, and I can see everything through walls of interest. Possession's probably the next thing to work on, and bend time. I haven't really decided if I want to go for any of the other ones yet. Uh, agility can be useful because. We'll see how that goes. Anyway. So, we also brought back the Black Book, which was uh, Campbell's journal. So apparently that should have clues as to the location of our missing daughter, Emily. Hopefully. So while we were arresting, the, uh, our fellow loyalists were, effect were attempting to decode the book. So let's go see if they've made any progress on that, because well, we have to find Emily. <laughs> the entire point of doing this is to restore her to the throne and also save her from being held captive by some truly abhorrent people. So, our waypoint is Admiral Havelock over there, so let's go see what uh, he's found out. Hmm, there's Callista. She's the one who asked to save her uncle. Well, who was the captain of the guard. His name escapes me for, re for some reason right now, but... Oh, Kerno, I think was his name. Also, we saved Martin, who is uh, sort of a non-corrupt overseer. So, we're about to come face to face with the Weeper. I have plenty of sleep darts, so we're fine. Weepers are the final stage of the Rat Plague, effectively. They're kind of similar to what uh, zombies are like in other games. Alright. Also, there are runes down here, which is also important. Okay. Let's get Dark Vision going. Yeah, so we're going to Weepers a few times throughout this game. They are basically, despite what Havelock just said, which is basically means that they are basically a death. They're it, becoming a weeper is basically a death sentence in this game. Is what I'm trying to say. Despite that fact, killing them still counts as killing uh, a hostile. I think not a civilian, but still counts towards chaos. So I'm going to try and avoid killing them. Fortunately, I have plenty of sleep darts, and it's not difficult to replace them at this point. Okay. And I want to get my crossbow out at this point. Did I miss that one? So these are weepers. They're they're basically just poor people. <laughs> they're basically just poor victims of the plague, and they've they're resorted. Uh, basically, they do behave awfully zombie-like. They'll run at you, grab onto you, and as opposed to bite you, they basically just cough and vomit all over you, which is not pleasant because it spreads the plague. It also just damages you, basically, and what that amounts to in the game. Alright, so I have two runes now. Alright, I would like to get Ben time, so I'm going to start there. Yeah, just, just sign up to six. Yeah, Ben time is quite useful in the long run. 
It's very expensive, though, so we won't be using it too much. At least not early on. Also, the first level of bend time only slows time down. Upgrading it basically stops it, which is the most useful. Alright. I saw this through Dark Vision, so I knew it was here. I want to go up. Ah! Grab the chain corbo. Two weepers, to be specific. Okay. Interesting sideshow uh, dealt with. Let's get going. So we have work to do here. Yeah, I unshackled him from basically being held in the public square. Yeah, I got quite a lot done last night, didn't I, if you think about it. <laughs> I saved one of your compatriots, saved an innocent man from being poisoned death, and took down one of the most corrupt individuals, and on top of all that found clues that point us hopefully towards Uh, towards Emily. Oh, okay. Well, that's gotta suck. The fact that Pen Lord Pendleton's own siblings are. <laughs> okay, so I have to kill. <laughs> so, two targets by the sounds of it at this time. No, well, I'll definitely go see him. After I replenish my sleep darts. This is actually one of the missions in which doing the non-lethal option is far easier than doing than killing them, which is going to be a bit of a conundrum, I suppose, whether I go down that route or not. I also need more money. Because I am uh, burning through it rather quickly here. Okay, so this is us trying to uh, further isolate the Lord Region from his political allies, by the looks of it. Sadly, that was historically the case as well. There were a lot of well wealthy merchants and other well-to-do families who were targeted by that just for their land and property. During the actual real life plagues of the world. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Yeah, I can't imagine that you probably have uh, second thoughts about me going to kill your brothers. Alright. I think I've yeah, gotten everything. Alright, let's go see Samuel. All right, Samuel, let's go look for Emily. All right, so we have to rescue Emily and deal with uh, the Lord Pendleton's. Ah, uh, they've uh, upgraded the security since I was here last. There's a watchtower there now. Yes, that is indeed the main thing. 
Slackjaw, he's the leader of the Bottle Street Gang, whom I <laughs> uh, kind of screwed over last time, but uh, maybe we, he doesn't know I did that, so maybe we can get his assistance getting in there. Oh, well, she's my daughter, so yes. Yeah, I saw the Watchtower myself. Three Bone Charms. No runes there. I do prefer runes over Bone Charms because they let you upgrade your spells and abilities. The Bone Charms just give you, like, minor bonuses. There you go. Oh, yes. By the way, now is the time they give us the warning about chaos, by the way, after the full... <laughs> Yeah, your actions affect the city. A higher number of deaths result in more rats and weepers, different reactions from allies, and a darker final outcome. In short, if you don't want to get the bad ending of the game, try to avoid killing people as much as possible. So yes, we want to avoid that because it shoots missiles, basically. Dart you. Yeah, I have combat sleep darts now, which is nice. I upgraded those in between uh, missions. Okay, let's move you out of planes, the field of view. There's another guard up there, but I should be able to avoid him by sinking to the back alleys. Right. Yes, yeah, so by this point in, game, uh, in the game, dark vision and uh, Blink coming very handy. I want to avoid that watchtower. It may nice to be able to disable it, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do so. Are everywhere now. Alright. I don't think these are the swarms of rats, though. No, this guy looks like he's run, like, part of the Ball Street King. Okay. I was planning on coming to see him anyway, so this might work. Right, let's see what the uh, slack draws I say, because... Yeah, yeah. Great. Let's go see what the gang leader has to say. So I'm invited in this time, so I don't have to sneak around, which is nice. Which is what I had to do the last time. Just a single bone charm. Well, we can try and grab that while we're here. Quite a few more barricades than when I was here last night. Explosive bottle. Oh, weepers. I suppose that might be my fault. Yep, uh, don't mind me. I'm just taking a look around while I... I think Slackjog is in his office over here, which is where I went last time. Here we go. Oops! <laughs> So he's going to. So if we help him, he's going to help us, basically.
Hmm. Yes. This does sound much easier than what he just described. So Dr. Galvani is where I got that rat viscera from the previous mission. So that does sound useful. I'm going to take this mana portion. So we know where that is, fortunately. We were there just last night. So let's go back to Galvani's office and investigate for Selector. Also, we might want to. Uh, this is they've been let out at this point, so we might want to stick to higher ground. Yeah. As you can see, there's quite a few weepers down there now. Well, someone who doesn't have a chaos rating can deal with them. I'll just quietly sneak out like I did last time. I was here. Assassin up there. So these are the assassins from the start of the game you might recognize from, from back from chapter one. I think we can get up there. few of these guys. Oh, there's a weeper back there. Right, this is a rewiring tool. You can basically use it to turn security devices like walls of light, arc pylons, and watchtowers to your advantage. Unfortunately, they will automatically kill any hostiles to you. I'm just going to choke up this uh, weeper. So, yeah. Rewiring tools are not good if you're going for, you know, any degree of uh, low chaos rate in, in this game. As you can see, I took damage basically from uh, the Weeper's uh, vomit. There. Alright, so there's two more assassins by the looks of it. Should take care of him. He fell behind uh, there. Right. Unfortunately, he's positioned awkwardly. Right, let's uh, link in here. comes out the rooftops besides me and these assassins. But 
I'm a little concerned if I leave him there, he's going to fall. I already had one accidental death in the last uh, uh, chapter, as you may remember, and I'm going to try and avoid that in the future. I'm going to be more careful. Alright. So the Golden Cat is that way, and Dr. Galvani's office is just across the street here in Clavicking uh, Boulevard, where we were last night. Alright. Punishable by death, I most likely, I suspect, based on how everything else goes here. Okay, there's a few more guards here than there were last time. I might notice. Alright. They should not be able to see me from this distance. But I'm just going to be careful to do the same. Mostly because I don't trust myself to jump that just there you go. Vertical jumps can be tricky. Alright. I uh, probably want to take that guy out. So there we go. Alright. I'd also like to take out that uh, watchtower, which I might be able to do from here. Yes. Just take the whale oil out. And set it down carefully, because this stuff is highly volatile and explosive. There we go. That'll make coming back this way much easier. To you. Last time it was better to go in the top. I'm going to try that again. Alright. I want dark vision on here. Oh, Giovanni building key. Okay, this door's locked now. Well, I don't have the key. I hope this isn't. No, it isn't. Okay. Go to Dr. Giovanni's office. Right. Ah, there's a room here. Okay, two guards. Safe. Alright. Security is much tighter here than it was last time. Alright. Okay, one guy so patrolling the halls here. One guy patrolling the lab. Oh, is he coming through? Let's get my darts just to be safe. No, I don't think he is. Might as well take out this guy too. Alright, also might want to find the location the code to that safe. Alright, I don't think I'm going to have an awful lot of uh, time to sneak up behind this guy, so I'm just going to sleep guard you. Security is this bad here, I can't imagine what's going to be the golden cat. Okay, so there's two more guards up there by the looks of it. A lot of stuff here. If you're patient, you can go. And this is a great place to search.
That's where I'm going. Okay, that just looks like a small coin purse. Probably not worth it. Alright, let's head upstairs now. Is there something down here? Uh, Like another mana potion. Oh. Good. I can drink the wine having repl replace it immediately. Alright. Oh, that was an save. Alright, two more guards, and there's the informant. Well, he's dead by the looks of it. I think they're right. Okay. You guys can, uh... You guys can be here. You can just hang out in the bathroom here. There's the room. I want that. Here we are. I'll just close this door. I don't think these are the sort of rats that eat people, but I'm still not taking any chances. Crowley's last words. Well, this should be interesting. Alright. Hopefully I can go out this way. Yeah, the upgraded blink is great, because it lets you teleport quite far. Alright, time to go see Slackjaw, and give him his, uh, well, his, basically his spy's last words, I guess. After this, we'll be heading towards the Golden Gap. Alright. Ah, he's closer this time. <laughs> Here you go. Curious to see what he found out. Ambitious. Oh no, I have a feeling this is going to trail off before he finishes saying who it is. sure about that slack draw that did sound an awful it might just be been bad voice acting <laughs> but it sounded kind of fake ah uh, what a brothel you mean to tell me they locked 
my daughter off in a brothel? <laughs> Just as good as that man who the city. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Think about that. And that's the title of this chapter, definitely. <laughs> Hands down. Not that I'm never going to find anything to beat that. Uh, well, that's one bit of work I don't have to do. Alright, let's see what he has in mind, because I might do... Oh, good. <laughs> Sound very convenient. That is a very excellent deal, Slack John. I think I'm going to take you up on that offer. I don't really go for, like I said, this is the the, the non-lethal options in these games are usually pretty awful. But then again. <laughs> The lethal option of this one is just hunting down two aristocrats surrounded by a bunch of soldiers in a in a brothel. <laughs> so I'm tempted just to take the easy way out here, and I'm probably going to because it's this one's quite difficult to do. Unlike where the first one is, the the non-lethal option is much more work. Head towards the golden cat now. Also, want to try and pick up these bone charms, but I think that's yeah, that's the new side of these buildings, which is the way we're heading anyway. Watchtower. I'm gonna take care of that while I'm here. There we go. All right. There's the captain's chair. It's too far to teleport. Uh, let's go along this route. I might be able to go cut across. If I go here. Stop trying to get me to drop assassinations. I'm doing a little chaos run. I'm just on the line on the ground. Alright, one's in there. So this is the captain's chair, which has been abandoned since the plague, apparently. So we might be able to... Oh, that's a lot of rats.
So, unfortunately, I like in Dishonored 2, there's no uh, bone charm cra rune crafting in this game. So, you used to be, in the next game, you're able to basically sacrifice bone charms you do not want to get whale bone, which you can then use to craft bone charms which you do want, or more runes, which is how they solved the problem of you getting what you want. So, yeah. There we go. So, this is the golden cat bathhouse, is what it says, but it's a problem. Okay, fortunately, I think this is the last one of these really poorly timed uh, cut-in things. I mean, uh, shouldn't this have been happening in the first mission? I don't know why it's being done here. The timing on this is odd. But I think it's mainly being done, the fact that now we have the art dealer and pulls in caps there. Alright. Yeah. A couple runes. Not three runes. A bone charm. Alright. And a lot of security. But I see an open window over there. It's probably going to be the best way in. There we go. to get any no I don't want that. Agility jump height increases and falling damage just overall movement speed increased. Uh eight. Gonna take a long time to get these upgraded. I don't really care for agility so I'm gonna try and say that. The spells are the fun stuff. This is another one of those missions where high ground is essential. I'll just see. Right, two rooms and a bunch of right there. I should, for the most part, just be able to go on this uh, venting there and sneak in. That looks like maybe Emily. Someone spotted me, unfortunately. There we go. Well, sorry about this lady, but... Sorry about that. I guess there was uh, another way in up here. Time for a family reunion. Basically. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, well, actually, I don't know how long I was in prison for. They didn't cover that. Okay. I guess there's a plan, escape plan, apparently. Well, there was no other, well, you couldn't go the other way, so yeah. Emily, this is not how you... Okay, we're definitely going to need to teach you how to sneak properly before the next game. security for this particular staircase is awful. Oh. I did think this was a little easy. <laughs> okay. Wait here. I'll be right back. Alright. Art dealer. Okay. Golden Cat Master Key. At least they marked it on my map, so I know where it is. Yeah, so Prudence has the key up here. At least my sounds are there treating Emily well, which is nice. Actually, she probably was better off here than she would have been elsewhere. I'm just going to take this. Alright, sorry about this, lady, but I need that key. And I also need you not to be wandering around up here. Um, I uh, don't really need... Second floor, all right. All right, that'll help. Now at least we know where all of them are. All right, let's get Emily out of here first before I commit to anything else. You two stay there, I don't have to do anything about you, and everyone will be perfectly happy and fine. So let's keep it that way. Hello, Emily, I got the key. I did. Yes, uh, I have some things to take care of. <laughs> uh, don't ask, don't, do not ask me over there. <laughs> you do not want to know. Okay. Well, there we go. That's the uh, easy part of this job done. Now we have to get take care of the other part. All right, I want to go back up to that landing. Yes, here. Yeah, there's a bone charm that goes in here. But I should have the master key, should I not? So there we go. Ah, good. Try here. Fleet fighter. We're having your weapons. Oh, it does not slow you, that's nice. Yeah, I'm moving a bit quicker now. All right. Uh, uh, sorry about that, lady, but you snuck up on me. All right. All right. Good. Oh, I think I missed something down there. Looks like maybe a painting of some sort. So leave you here. Like that. See, this is why I, I like uh, upgraded dark vision. <laughs> it is basically like detect magic in Dungeons Dragons. It shows you points of interest and things like things that might be valuable. Stuff that I would probably miss just going through this game normally. Oh, that's a map. Never mind. Yeah. 
If there's anything, if this were more complicated, I would be getting that map, obviously. But this is a pretty simple layout of this building. Has. All right, down I go. Sorry, but I'm trying to thin the crowd out here a little bit. What was that? We're back up here. All right. And I'll put him in with the others. Well, only one at the moment, but there's going to be more. Spoiler alert, there's going to be more bodies in this pile here in a few moments. Oh, I only have one sleep dart left. Well, let's make use of it. There we are. There we are. Another one to the pile. All right, no more sleep darts is a little annoying. Alright, there's the rune. I think I can just go walk in and take it. Right, through here. Alright. Don't think I can upgrade anything. I think that only brings me up to four. I need one more rune to get the upgraded possession, which is probably the next thing I want. Let's take a look through the keyhole here. Alright, so there's two people there. Our dealer's that way. Okay, I might be able to get up on that scaffolding if I'm quick. Is there another way around? No, I can't go through there. Alright, the other, only other way is that door. Which is more out in the open, so I think I want this side door instead. Oh! Oh, I think he's a. I, oh, I think he's passed out. I think she's trying to wake him up. All right. So there's a floor, but maybe I have to be quick. So this is an electroshock machine? Okay, particular taste was right. I don't really need to know the 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 details of this. All right. Well, this is this is the this is the task. Well, they're pretty bad people already, so I think they deserve that. That's a safe word, I believe. No, I do not think we are. <laughs> I think one more should do it. The combination to your safe. Well, I won't shock him again because that might kill him. <laughs> yeah. 
two ladies having a cuddle or a dance or something over there. Not sure what they're doing, really. Alright. It was like I was never here. There you go. Well, that one lady did spot me, but still. Nothing else? I don't have to go deal with the Pendletons. And so, uh, I can... Whee! Alrighty then. Well, this is a very straightforward mission. Now the tricky part, getting uh, back out of sight off of this uh, heavily patrolled uh, street. Well, I don't really need... There we go, there. Well, I know what happened, but I'm the one who killed him, so I'm not coming forward. <laughs> So we have the combination to the safe. So we can go back and so we can go back and report to Slackjaw, or and just hear me out here. <laughs> I believe this is the art dealer's building right across the street from uh, Dr. Galvani's office. That is door to art dealer's apartment. Let's rob him first. <laughs> uh, there's two of them. And I'm out of sleep darts. No! Inventory, how much do money do? Okay, I can go buy some off of, uh... Oh, never mind, I'm just gonna wait till they split up. I'm going to use Ben time here. Just, mostly so you can see what it does. And also just to get behind this guy. They were just trying to use brute force here, I see. Alright. Ah. Ooh, 
invitation to a party. That will come in handy later. Alright, I think I can take that one. That's fine. I have to leave something behind for Slime Jones. People are fine. Not that. Not anything I have a use for. There's a painting down there. I cannot drop assassinate someone through the floor. Stop trying to get me to do that in impossible scenarios. Also, I'm just not doing it because this is a little chaos run. Alright. I don't think I need to get a lot of painting. I should have more than enough uh, funds for the foreseeable future. Alright. Alright then, well, there's not much left to do here except go see Selectra now. Whoa, I <laughs> overshot that one. Select draw. I have, <laughs> I have the combination. <laughs> you brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. You have a need to work closely. Select draw. Yes, a good man, a trustworthy man, one who would not stab you in the back <laughs> and just rob the <laughs> the place <laughs> before giving you the combination. Put all the thoughts of that for your mind. See what I said about the non-lethal options being unpleasant? Well, I mean, I'll certainly take uh, care of it, uh, as far as... <laughs> yeah. It's a blueprint. Pierre might be able to make something look for me from that. Alright. Time to go. Alright, and with that, uh, we don't have much else to do here. We're going to be heading back to the boat and with Samuel and leave with Emily. Entering a hostile zone, yes. Oh, as you can see, Granny Rags' apartment's been closed off now. Due to play, according to that, but probably for some other reason. Alrighty then. So, I'm just going to use uh, the same way we were getting around Clavering Boulevard before. Because. Why change an approach that works so well? <laughs> well? That's changed. I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that I took those two whale oil casters out. Alright then, 
so this should just be a simple matter of going over there. Uh, watchtower is down, which makes this even, e even easier. Alright. Just gonna do a quick blink over here. Alright. Okay, we're. Okay, that's it with the sink curve. We're home and dry. Oh, home and wet. Yes, let us get Emily back. Alright. Well, apparently it wasn't detected. Oh, she did oh we didn't get the full alert state. She just spotted me moving with the Oh, Alright, didn't kill anyone. Ghost, never detected. Help Slackjaw find Crowley, put the Pendletons to work on their own mind, and robbed the art dealer safe. Got all the runes, missed one bone charm, there was no outsider shrine, I missed a painting, and I lost. Missed out on a bunch of gold, but that's fine. I can imagine. It must be hot inside that mask. Armed with a blade, but I didn't really end up using it at all. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So we're going to be heading off quite quickly on the next mission, but uh, we're going. To, this video is probably going close to time already. I'm not entirely sure because I forgot to set my timer this time. <laughs> I'm gonna buy supplies and talk to Lord Pendleton. I will probably get. I'll probably get us to the start of the next mission. All right. Well, I'll take the rune first of all. All the sleep darts. All right. Now, what was it I got as an upgrade? I do not think this has any effect on sleep darts, unfortunately. I think it is just for crossbow bolts. Alright, All right. another thing I want to do is upgrade possession. Now we can possess people. Which is coming very handy for infiltrating places and for taking guards out, because now we can just take control of them and want and puppet them off to isolate themselves. It's going to come in very handy going forward. Alright, let's talk to Pendleton.
All right, let's go talk to. Have like a Martin, apparently. All Alright, so our next target is Sokolov, who you may remember is the painter and scientist from the beginning of the game. And unlike all the other targets, we are not allowed to kill him. We need him alive because he has vital information for us. Alright, so I'm going to get us to that point and then we'll probably stop. So we're in a new area of the game now, at least. Yes, this is a trickier level than some of the previous ones. is a dangerous thing. Alright, and this is where we are going to call it for tonight. Or today. Alright. Alright. Uh, Thank you for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe. Going forward, I might lengthen these episodes. I'm not entirely because, uh, well, uh, this is only mostly meant to be a, a tie-over game to go between this and the next long game I'm going to be playing, which is coming out in about a month. And I'm not entirely sure how much longer this game we're going to have left. There's at least a few more chapters. I don't know if we can get it all done in time. I'll make that decision between the in between uh, this and next week. Alright, thank you for watching everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe, and please join me here again next time as we continue our adventures in Dunwall, particularly in the next chapter to go after Anton Sokolov and apprehend him for questioning. Goodbye everyone.